I'm Dr. Mark Poole. In this video, I'll be discussing aspirin and Plavix. How does each one work? Why might you want to take them? And then, which one is better, aspirin or Plavix? I know you care about your heart, so be sure to subscribe to my channel and not miss any content about how to have a healthy heart. What is aspirin? The generic name is acetosalicylic acid. So it's easy to see why we say aspirin. It's been used for over 100 years. It has an anti-inflammatory effect, and that's mostly the effect for which it's used for heart health. It can be used in cases of heart attack, in cases of coronary artery disease. It also has an antiplatelet effect, so that the platelets do not stick together as much. In particular, it inhibits or stops the action of one of the chemicals, cyclooxygenase, that makes the platelets stick together. So whereas the platelets want to stick together in certain cases and block up a blood vessel, the aspirin helps the platelets not to stick so much, thereby ensuring that flow continues through a blood vessel. What is Plavix? The generic term is clopidogrel. It's one of the most widely used medications on earth. It's primarily an antiplatelet agent, so it helps platelets not to stick together. Specifically, it binds a certain receptor on the platelets, making the platelets less prone to binding together. So it's used in cases of stroke and heart disease, heart attack, to make it where the platelets don't clump together and block up an artery. It's also used effectively for fresh stents. Why would you want to take aspirin or Plavix? Well, a lot of people take aspirin just for headache or for uh, inflammatory processes. They don't feel quite well, they may take an aspirin. Some people take an aspirin a day just uh, because they think it may help them. But some studies in the past have shown that elderly people can benefit from aspirin, but there's been some more recent literature that calls that into question. Still, I think a lot of older Americans take aspirin as a matter of daily routine. There are two usual doses. 325 milligrams is a full aspirin dose, and 81 milligrams is a baby aspirin. For my patients in particular, I prefer the baby aspirin because it has the lion's share of the positive benefits of aspirin, but also has just a slightly lower risk of bleeding. So especially when it comes to surgical patients, that's a nice balance to have. When it comes to Plavix, most of the time you want to take it if there's been a heart attack or stroke, or if you just had a new stent put in. So aspirin and Plavix are given together as part of dual antiplatelet therapy. The idea there is, if a new stent is put inside an artery, that stent is not your body, it's foreign material. So the platelets in the blood will tend to stick to the stent. Well, you don't want that because the platelets sticking to the stent and then sticking together can clog up the stent and can even actually occlude the stent or make the blood flow stop completely. So to prevent that, aspirin and Plavix are used together. The cyclooxygenase uh, of the platelets is blocked, as well as the receptor is blocked by the Plavix. And those two combinations can help the platelets not to clump and not to clog up the new stent. Generally speaking, this process can be stopped over about 6 or 12 months because your body will put a layer of your cells called the endothelium inside the stent. Once that happens, then the platelets won't stick to the stent because the endothelium keeps them from sticking. So a lot of times a patient can stop taking Plavix after 6 or 12 months depending on what kind of stent was put in, uh, but most patients will stay on the aspirin. Some cardiologists will keep a patient on Plavix indefinitely despite the fact that the new endothelium is there. So which is better, aspirin or Plavix? Well, it would be like saying which is better, the Dallas Cowboys or the Dallas Mavericks. They're just two different things. They can be used together for a fresh stent, and used effectively, uh, but they serve two different purposes. As an anti-inflammatory agent, aspirin is superior. It has that effect plus the antiplatelet effect. It can be taken safely by most patients, especially at an 81 milligram a day dose, but it can make ulcerations flare up, and if there's a lot of gastric disease, you have to be careful with aspirin. Plavix is stronger for its antiplatelet effect. And now that's great when it comes to a fresh stent or a recent stroke, but it can lead to easy bruising. Sometimes can convert a minor injury to a major one. So be sure to discuss with your doctor about which one may be best for you, if you need both of them, 
or neither one of them, it's an important conversation to have with your physician. Now, we know that your heart is important to you. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. God bless you as you seek to live a healthy life.